my name is Sergeant Satcher. I'm in the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office. Okay. How um, are you? Doing well. Just need to see your driver's license and your vehicle registration. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, the reason I'm stopping you, I clocked you at 70. The speed limit here is 55. Appreciate it. Yeah, your vehicle, the, it's which a rental car. It's a rental, should have a rental agreement. I'm going to reach in here and get That's it. That's fine. Yeah, I saw no um, Okay. Thank you. And you still live in South Carolina? Yeah, I live in South Carolina. I was in um, Norfolk, Virginia at a Fiat tennis tournament, and I'm on the way back to um, Springfield. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what. Just hold tight for a quick moment, and I'll be right back. Okay. okay thank Thanks. you. Uh -huh. All right. All right, ma'am, what I have here for you, it is a traffic summons for Brunswick County General District. Is this a traffic summons? Yes, for Brunswick County General District Traffic Court. Your court date is going to be June the 6th at 1030 for the 70 and a 55 mile per hour zone. Where is, your sign? Where is the sign that says it's 55 miles an hour? Sorry. In numerous places. Numerous places where? I mean, between the gas station I just came from, right here? At the I mean, gas numerous, station. numerous places back that way. You're more than welcome to go back there and look at them. I mean, I'm take pictures of them, whatever you want to do. Um, so you didn't give me a warning? You gave me an actual ticket? Yeah, no warnings today, ma'am. So your court date is going to be June the 6th at 1030 for the speeding of 70 and a 55. You have the option to prepay this. I'm going to give you a phone number plus a website that go, has our courthouse information. If you contact our courts, they will tell you what the find is, answer any one of your questions, and if you decide to prepay it, then you do not have have to come to court oh, but, but if you want to prepay it um if you don't want to prepay it then you have to come to court on june the 6th at 10 30. need you to, to sign right here i'm not gonna sign that ticket uh ma'am okay but i don't have to sign it so ma'am but i appreciate it hold on mm -hmm. Me. all right so what you're signing here is a promise to either come to court or a promise to prepay. It's not an admission of guilt. It's only a promise to me that you're going to get it taken care of by either coming to court or prepaying it. If you refuse to sign the summons at this point, I'm going to have to get you out of the police car, out of this car. I'm going to place you under arrest and take you in front of the magistrate. I will get your vehicle towed and go from there. So, yes, ma'am, you do not have a choice. You have. I don't care about that. You do not have. A, I don't care who's on the phone. I'm talking to you right now. You do not have a choice but to sign the summons. So once again, you're signing right there. So thank you. I knew you were going to sign it. Thank you very much. All right. Appreciate it very much. And you have a very safe day. Okay. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, this is Dawn. Um, I'm driving. I typically would not drive and do a FaceTime video. But I am um, just, I'm in Virginia. Uh, I can't even tell you what town. I have to look at something to tell you what town I'm in in Virginia. I think Suffolk County or some town in Virginia. And I just was threatened by this police officer, and 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 I, and I want all of my all of my African Americans and people of color that are out there are going to know exactly what I'm talking about, and and I want to get a check in on on our people. But I'm on this route called 58 West. It's right off in between Virginia as you go to Richmond. It's a cut through between Norfolk and Richmond, and I have had a traumatic experience. Um, and I want the people who are not African-American who know me to, to really get where we're coming from. Every time when I saw the police pull up behind me, the state trooper, I was immediately afraid. I was on the phone with my cousin Patrice and I had her on, on speaker because I was on Bluetooth. I'm in the car. He threat the man threatens to pull me out of the car. Um, you know, we shouldn't be afraid to, um, drive and and get pulled over by the police. And I'm telling you, I um, I showed him my license, asked him why I was stopped, and he said that I was going uh, 70 and a 65, or 60 and a something like, some kind of small difference. And so I'm in the middle of a rural little town, and I'm sorry that I'm upset, but I don't get upset too much. Usually I get angry, I don't get afraid. But you know, um, and I protested a lot. I'm 50, but I, when I'm in my day, I would say, I did a lot of protesting and a lot of fighting just so things like this would not happen to us. But I get pulled over by this white cop, and he said he's sergeant somebody, and I asked him what the stop was for, and he told me that the seven-mile-an-hour difference, or whatever this was, and the speed difference, I saw no traffic signs, by the way, no traffic signs, but the time I stopped at a convenience store to get a banana, and by the time I had gone to where he immediately pulled me over when he saw me, um, I gave him my license registration for the rental car that I'm driving. 
I just come back from the MEAC conference. My daughter was playing tennis in the MEAC conference championship. I'm on the way back to Greenville, South Carolina. The cop comes back with the ticket. Uh, I'm on the phone with my cousin. She's saying, stay calm. I'm nervous, having both hands on the wheel, feeling all afraid. He comes back, and when he comes back, he gives me the ticket. And I said, so this is not a warning ticket. I said that I didn't see any signs. There were no signs. He said, well, you can go back and look for signs. I said, okay, so this is not a warning ticket. He said, no, this is not a warning ticket. So I said, okay. Um, and my cousin's on the phone on speaker. He can't see that she's on the phone because it's on speaker on the other chair. So um, he said, well, you'll need to sign this ticket. And I said, why would I need to sign the ticket? I don't agree with, and it is just something that I don't think, I said, I won't be signing the ticket, but I'll, I'll, I'll take the ticket. He said, no, you'll need to sign the ticket. I said, I don't agree. I didn't see a sign. I'll, I'll, I'll abide by the ticket, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to put my signature on it on that ticket. And he said, "Well, if you don't put the signature on this ticket, I'll pull you out of the car, and and then I'll arrest you and I'll impound the car." So my cousin immediately puts her voice from the seat and says, "Don't I sign the ticket?" Because my natural instinct for anybody who knows me knows that I do not like to be told what to do. I abide by the law, I'm respectful of the law, but you can't make me sign a ticket. So I went ahead and signed a ticket only because I was immediately afraid and he looked like he was ready for me to pull, pull me out of the car. He didn't say I'll ask you to step out of the car. He said, I'll pull you out of the car and I'll arrest you and I'll impound your car. And he said, so then I signed, then Patrice said, sign a ticket. And I said, okay, so I went, you know, and, I, and he said, well, I don't care. You know, you're gonna get out of this car. I'll just pull you out of the car. After he heard her, he thought that was me. So I signed the ticket. And I just want to show you what area I'm in. This is the area I'm in, in the middle of this kind of stuff. This is where I am. So it's not like I'm not afraid because this is where we, we got lynched. This is where we got lynched. This is where even in today's day, you Freddie Gray, you can be in Baltimore. You don't have to be in a rural area. But um, I was literally afraid that he was going to pull me out of the car impound my car and I'd be Sandra Bland. Now why do do why do, do any of my white friends know me ever do anybody ever feel like that when they get pulled over? Do they are they afraid that they're never gonna come home or see anybody else if they don't because the police are at the door saying I'm gonna pull you out of the car? Have have does any why do only African Americans and people of color know what I'm going through right now? The only reason I was able to even and then I sat there. I couldn't even, I signed a ticket. And he said, I knew you'd do the right thing. And then he patted the side of the car. And he said, have a great day. He said, I knew you'd sign it. You know, kind of sarcastically. It was a very controlling, bullying experience. And no one should threaten to pull me out of a car just because I haven't signed a ticket. Because I don't, because I have a right not to sign the ticket. I didn't say I wasn't going to comply. I said, I don't, I don't think I need to sign that ticket. So we should have to experience this. We, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, not just for me. I'm 50 years old. I've been through this many times. Everybody I know that's African American has been through this at least one time, if not 10, and no. So I am um, just coming to you guys. I'm just, I guess, upset. But, you know, we're in such a rock and a hard place. You want to be strong and you want to fight against injustice, but then you also don't want to be dead. You don't want to get pulled over, car impounded, pulled out of a car just because you don't sign a ticket. And it's, you don't, you, I mean, I don't have to sign the ticket. I feel like I should have gone ahead and gone to law school instead of majoring in pre-law, political science, so that I'd know if I had the right to sign a ticket or not. But it wouldn't have mattered at that time because he was determined, anyway, for me to sign that ticket or he was going to pull me out of the car. Why would you threaten, why would you have to pull me out of the car? I never said I wouldn't have stepped out of the car willingly. So this is, again, this is what we go through on a beautiful day. On the way driving, I was having a good day talking to the phone, but this is what we go through all the time. And he just walked off, the bully that he was, proudly, happily, like he had accomplished something by degrading me as a as a as an African American, as a, as a citizen. And um, and I was in the middle of areas where I know there were tons of slaves. I was in the middle of areas where there were open fields of plowed areas. And the first thing I thought about is this is nothing compared to what our people have gone through. But why are we still going through this now? Why am I afraid at a traffic stop? So I'm crying on the phone. 
I'm like, Kaiser Patrice, gets on the phone, are you okay? Of course, I start crying because I'm, I'm afraid and I'm uncomfortable. Um, because he threatened to, why would he, you know, I felt that if he had pulled me out of the car, what would have happened next? This is how, this is how we live as African Americans. Doesn't matter about our socioeconomic income or our careers or what we're doing. The, the cop pulled me over. He can pull me out of the car if he wants, whether we're doing something or not. Whenever he wants, he can impound the car and I can be Sandra Bland. So I just, I just wish I knew what we could do about this. Um, it shouldn't happen. It happens every day, thousands of times a day. But I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of it. And I don't know what to do about it anymore. I used to think I used to know what to do about these things when I was in NAACP and I was in college and I was young, younger. But now I'm just angry, but powerless. I literally felt powerless when he told me that I'll pull you out of, you know, I'll pull you out of the car and impound the car. And pulling you out of the car seems small in general if you're not African American. Pulling you out of the car doesn't seem like a big deal. But when you're African American, you get pulled out of the car, you get shot, or you get tased, or you get. Um, or you get Sandra Bland if you're a woman. Who knows? But um, I was very polite. It doesn't matter how polite you are. It's all sick, crazy bullying, and the police are ridiculous. Um, and I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to generalize and say some police. I'm just going to give it to you. If you let your blue brother in arms treat any, any person like that and threaten to pull him out of the car just because they don't want to sign a ticket, that they don't have to sign. All I had to do was show up in court or follow the, the ticket. He'd already signed the ticket. Why do I need to sign the ticket? Um, again, if my cousin Patrice wouldn't have said, Dawn signed the ticket, I wouldn't have signed it, and it would be, I wouldn't even be on this video right now. Who knows what would have happened to me? So I just wanted to give you guys an update um, on that. And I normally don't emote and become emotional on Facebook. That's not my personality type. I don't even like crying, honestly. But I was... This is just... It's just, just every time I we see a police car, this is what happens. This it can happen, and it happens all the time. So my folks that I know that I'm friends with that are not African American, not people of color, this is this is what we go through every single day. So as you're in your liberal modes and thinking that you're supporting the cause, understand just how deep our problems are. Even a, a minor traffic stop could get us pulled out of a car, and the next steps, who knows. We have a lot of example of what happens normally. So normally it's Sandra Brand, Sandra Bland situation or anything else. I see Charlene. Do you have a do you want to have a complaint? His name is on the ticket. Oh, I will be making a complaint. But you know, I was you know Charlene. Thanks for that. But I will make a complaint um, and file a complaint because I'm not going to pay that ticket. Um, but um, it's just the idea that that you can be that can happen to you. Um, you can be somebody can threaten to pull you out of the car, um, just because I didn't I, because I didn't want to sign the ticket. You can threaten to pull me out of the car. Um, that is racist, and this happens every single day. And I am so tired of it. So um, I have a lot of friends of all diverse backgrounds. If you are not African American and you are my friend, watch this whole video and share it and help in the racism that we go through every single day for no reason. So, oh, hey, Kim. Yeah, I, yeah, but this is, yeah, yeah, you have to watch the video, Kim. You'll see what I, what, why I'm upset. Because, yeah, I never do this. Um, I try to keep it positive on Facebook and encouraging, but I just was bullied by a racist cop who threatened to pull me out of a car um, in the middle of nowhere where I could have been the next victim of uh, police abuse with no repercussion. It could have happened very easily. So watch the whole video, Kim, and thank you guys for watching.